This day for us as we take a view right now from Fort Worth, mild temperatures will greet you as you step out the door today. Temperatures in the 60s, in some spots even 70s. That does include Dallas right now at 72. It is 66 from Fort Worth and winds across the area stay very light out of the south. So Metroplex looking good right now. We've got 67 Louisville, Allen there too. Duncanville 67 and Burleson waking up to 66 degrees. So we're running a couple of degrees warmer than this time just yesterday. And as we move on into this afternoon, we will enjoy another day of mostly sunny sky. Winds turning a little bit breezy out of the south, but nothing extreme as far as those winds are concerned. Heading into Friday, it's going to be another dry day, but we will watch as more cloud cover rolls in our last dry day as we head on into uh, the weekend. We will be talking, of course, some rain on Saturday. For today, though, look for temperatures in the 70s by midday. High temperatures topping out around 80. 87, so it will be a warmer day than yesterday. Speaking of the weekend, rain chances that we've been following will continue to monitor out west Friday night and into Saturday as we do have that dry line to set up and a system storm system moving this way. What we expect is some widespread rain in the form of some strong to severe storms. Could see those as early as 5 o'clock or so in the morning west of the Metroplex. And then I do believe that activity is more central across the Metroplex by midday, moving east of 35 as we progress on into the afternoon. We do have the threat for some severe weather, so we have a little better idea now of what the ingredients here would be. Uh, we are talking about damaging winds and hail as well for the main threats. And this orange area, the enhanced risk, is where you're most likely to see a severe storm. So again, that's Dallas County and then on towards Sulphur Springs down towards Palestine from midday through the afternoon. So heads up for any Saturday plans. We'll continue to monitor this for you. At least Sunday, though, will be a dry finish to the weekend in the upper 80s.